what? Y'all know how to make a person feel welcome, huh? <laughs> Y'all know how to make a person feel real good, I tell you. Um, I've been traveling all over the place, man, and um, this is one of the things that I've, I've been waiting on. You know what I'm saying? I've been, I've been waiting to have uh, this moment to be able to actually speak you know, in a church. I was real hyped up, man. I was messaging my people and every day. And I was like, hey, look, wait a minute now. They got me at the church. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it was a very big moment for me, a person that, you know, grew up in the church. I've been studying spiritual warfare since I've been 15. Been sp- I used to, yeah, I come back in old school church, Pentecostal church, where we were spending a night in the church, you know what I mean? Because you had to go in there because you had to pray, pray and do all of those things. So it was like, for me, it was like I was going back home. And sometimes, you know, I'll be in that situation where I'm just thinking, like, you know, what's my next move? What is it that I'm supposed to do? And uh, I tell you what, I was blown away when she first hit me up. I was like, oh, man, this is my time. You got to act right. <laughs> you got to know me to know, baby. I'm going to keep a furniture. These people be breaking me out. Ooh, oh, they, freak, freak. they be breaking me out the places. I be like, come. Down. You got, don't stand on the folk chairs. I'm all in DC on folk furniture. You know what I'm saying? You got to act right when you go to the church. But I tell you what, one of the things that I wanted to talk about though, my topic for today is addicted to pain. Right? And those of you that follow me, y'all know I'm really big on note taking, right? And the reason why I chose the subject, I chose addicted to pain, is because a lot of times we don't realize that we self-sabotage because we're so used to pain that we start to think that it's normal, right? That we start to self-sabotage because as soon as something start going the way that we want it to go, as soon as it start lining up perfectly how we want it to be lined up, we start looking for fault in that situation. Right? All right, so how this going to work is when I'm in your house, when I'm in your business, you say, speak, speak. Okay? Yeah. Because, see, I, I like when you're real because, see, God can't, he can't heal what you have. Right? So you got you to be open. You got to be honest. You got to be transparent because I don't come for people to be excited and ignorant. Right? I come because I want you to take the notes and apply the notes to your life so that you can create a better version of yourself. That's my job. That's my responsibility. Right? And a lot of times what we do is we self-sabotage. And how we self-sabotage is because we go outside of our way right when he didn't bless us, right when he didn't gave us whatever it is that we want. Right? We go outside of our way to try to find fault in it. And one of the, one of the favorite phrases that we'll use is what? Oh, this too good to be true. Right? Yeah, yeah, this too good to be true. You can't really love me like how you say you love me. I got, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, now I gotta start digging and trying to find fault. Now I gotta go outside of my way and what do we do? We create beef, we create problems, we create issues where there are no issues, right? And then we go over there to the person that we're dealing with and we ask them, you gotta reassure me. That be real, because half of y'all done ran off the person that God said to bless you because you won't cost a reassurance. Yeah. for social media. It sounds good when you want the likes and the comments and, and when people want to get views and go viral, they want to make it seem like, oh, that's what you're supposed to do. Oh, I want my reassurance. No, the devil is alive. You can't tell that I love you from the way that I'm loving you. Yeah. Then guess what? If you don't feel the love that I have, go ahead and snip, snip. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Because I'm not going to run myself in the ground trying to prove myself to you. I'm not going to go outside of my way trying to make you see my worth if you don't see it already. So what we do is we become so used to the pain that when we get something good, we don't know how to act with it. We don't know how to protect it. We don't even know what to feed it. Right? That's a fact. So what we do, we victimize ourselves. And as long as you look at yourself like a victim, you'll treat yourself like a victim. As long as you look at yourself like you're less than, then guess what? Whatever your mind is fixed on is what it's going to produce. So if your mind on brokenness, then guess what you about to create? More brokenness. If your heart is over there and it's in shambles, guess what you about to create? More shambles. Relationships, friendships, job shifts, situationships, any ship that you're on. One thing that you got to understand is that a ship is designed to transport, to take you from one place to another. Listen here, your ship is designed to take you places, right? So when you get to a place where it ain't shipping no more, it's time to avoid that mission. It's time for you to go ahead, send my boat, send my float, send my canoe out there, because I got to get up off of here.
here because it's no longer going in the direction that it needs to be going. But what we do is we self-sabotage because we want to, one, overplay our part. How you over there giving somebody that add the least value to your life the most of you? The best of you. And the folks that's going outside of their way showing up for you every single time, you find it fault in them. You walking them like a complete dog, and the next thing you do, you overplay your part, you overstay your welcome. You you know where you been should have gone. But you create excuses for why you want to stay. You victimize yourself and say, oh yeah, well, I gotta stay because if I don't stay, then it's going to be this. And if I don't stay, then they won't know how to do that. Well, most folks don't know how to step up because you won't step out the way. If I don't do it, it won't be done. No, if you don't do it, then somebody else will step up to the plate and they will start doing more. But the reason why you feel tired, you feel drained, and you feel taken advantage of is not because of other people, it's because of you. Because you're operating without boundaries. Yes. 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 We get so used to making excuses for why we feel the way that we feel. Now, Pastor Tiffany, your pastor, she gonna make it nice, I ain't. Right? So when I say this, oh okay. So when I when I say this, when I when I say this, when I say this part right here, I want you to really really understand where I'm coming from. I want you to understand that you ain't the only one that's hurt. You ain't the only one that's going through something. You ain't the only one with a struggle, a trial. You're not the only person that has a dark hour. You ain't the only one that's been lied to, that's been cheated on. You ain't the only one that's have experienced somebody violating you in some type of way, shape, or form. You gotta understand that we can see your behavior, understand your behavior, but we don't have to accept it. Not ready. 
ready to forgive them yet. Well, you ain't ready to heal. <laughs> because your forgiveness ain't for them. Your forgiveness is for you. My forgiveness ain't giving you a pass on what it is that you've done to me. My forgiveness is saying that you're not worthy of the pain. You think I'm going to let you, uh, I'm going to let you abuse me, hurt me, and then ruin the rest of my life? Yes! Service 
blessing you. And when I say that, I'm talking about friendships, family ships, job ships, church ships, situation ships. You got to stay away from anything that's going to cause you to lose who you are. If you costing me, me. I don't know about y'all, but I can't afford another soul tie with the wrong person. Yeah. Yeah. to get over the other one and then you create that pattern of broken hearts and then you jump on social media and say childish stuff like oh you know where hurt people hurt people the devil is a lie people that don't heal hurt people also, when that pain is not managed and placed in the right position you will start making excuses for why you can't love why you can't show up why you can't do this that and the third if you ain't got on your big girl panties by now, put the big boy drawers on by now, ain't handle your adult business, you ain't got no business trying to be connected to nobody. Because it ain't my job to fix you that nobody else. That's a fact. Now, I'm going to tell you that for sure. The one thing you won't do is put me in no position where I'm in no relationship torture. Relationship torture is when they have you in limbo. You don't know where you stand with them. You, well, I, love, I don't know what we are. Are we together or are we not? Go stand by somebody else. Woo! That's a fact. Because people know exactly what it is that they're doing in your life. They don't want the responsibility of treating you the way that you deserve to be treated. Come on now. So they make excuses. And they want to hold you accountable for their trauma. They want to make their trauma your responsibility to go and fix. Your, your, I, got, I got to understand your behavior. I ain't got to do nothing but walk away. Yeah. Yeah. The power, what I say, the disrespect is the closure. Yeah. That, that's it. That's it. But how do I move forward, coach? Number one is you have to accept your reality. Yeah. That's, that's heavy. That's heavy. That's, that's, that's heavy right there. That's real heavy right there. Because a lot of us struggle with accepting our reality. You have to accept what's your new norm. And what happens is because we feel like our heart is broke so much that I just can't, I can't take that right now. I can't accept that right now. I don't want that to be what it is right now. And I, I know that it's final. I know that it's no coming back from it. I know that this is what it got to be. But you live in a delusional state thinking that if I give more, if I do more, if I show up more, but your generosity will not make a person be something that they are not. Some folk are already committed to not loving you. That's a fact. They committed to not loving you. They know your love languages. They choosing not to do it. They know what you want from them. They making a conscious decision within themselves to say, I'm not going to give you what you want. And if you leave, then I'm going to try to make it your fault as why you're leaving. But guess what? When you've been solid, When you've been solid, you don't worry about clearing things up. When you've been solid, you let bridges burn and you let chips fall just wherever they are. evaluation on yourself. Come on. Okay. All right. Not on other people. Yeah. You have to do a self-evaluation on yourself because how can you fix what you don't know is there? Mm. Yes. You have to sit down and adjust 
what's going on in your life, figuring out how are you breaking your own heart, what are you doing that's contributing to your own suffering, why is it that you keep finding yourself in these same type of situations with different people and you the common factor. You have to do it. You can start weeding out the, you know, weeding out the tail. You got to do what to take out, cause everything ain't gonna be good for you. Yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? No matter how much it look, how good it look, how good it smell, what it drive, and what the income is, some folk is right now connected to a beautiful disaster. You Ooh. look good, but your inside is in shambles. Yeah. Right? And after you assess and adjust, and you do your evaluation on yourself, what do you do? Or oh, you create your boundaries? Yeah. Yeah, cause see, I didn't clean me up. I didn't handle my business, and now that I know what I know, the type of work that it took for me to get here. I know the pacing of the flow. I know the tears that I cried. I know all the late nights laying in that bed. I know all that I went through in order for me to get to where I'm at right now. So what do I got to do? I got to create a level of protection. Your boundaries is not a beef. It's not that I dislike you. It's not that you and I not cool. It's just that what you're doing and how you're living, your life is not in alignment with what I got going on right now. So respectfully. I'm I'm gonna bow out what? Gracefully. Come on. Oh yeah. It's gonna be some situations in your life where you're gonna have to learn how to bow out gracefully. That means you ain't gotta make no belt of subliminal posts. That means you ain't gotta go run and try to be connected to their mama and their best friend so you can try to stay connected to the family. What you don't understand is this right here. Some of y'all are holding on to things that God trying to disconnect you from. He ain't, he ain't just trying to disconnect you. He trying to disassociate you all together. Understand that. And you're self-sabotaging because you don't see yourself no further than where you are right now. And he trying to give you big, but you still holding on to small. He trying to move you forward and you still running back. Why? Because it's comfortable over here. If I stay right here, I can do this with my eyes. If I stay right here, I know exactly what's going on. And if I step over here, it's going to require what? Some work on my behalf. It's going to be hard. So we try to do what? We try to only do what's, what's easy. We don't want to challenge ourselves. We don't want to step out of our comfort zone. Right? That's the main reason why we can't stand together to do anything. Because if it becomes an inconvenience, we out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, if it get a little bit hard, we out. Yes. Oh, wait, baby, y'all gonna make me stay up an hour later? <laughs> People can't stand inconvenience. And that's why it's one of the enemy's tactics. If he can agitate you, frustrate you, or inconvenience you, he got you. That's why self-discipline is so important. Because anybody can get fired up in a moment. But if you walk out that door and before you exit, you turn around and pick up everything that you came in with it. Then nothing has happened. You've been excited and ignorant. Okay, I'm going to my next one. My God. Yeah. After you, <laughs> after you done got to that place in your life where you didn't put in all this work on yourself and you got your boundaries in place, right? Now it's that time where you have to look at yourself a little bit different, right? And this is what we struggle at. That's why I said we have the right skill set but not the right mindset. Because a lot of us, we'll know exactly what it is that we want to do in life. Oh yeah, you ain't gonna play with me with this mic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold on. <clears throat> Come on, get it. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna tear it up, but I'm gonna get it off. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. we all struggle at, right? Yes. Yes. We struggle because we don't see ourselves like we deserve it. Mm. 
And the reason why we say that we don't deserve it is because we're so caught up in the past experiences that we had. We look at the family that we came from. We look at the environment that we were brought up in. And we automatically put a cap on ourselves. And we start to think that I can't go no higher than right here. And I can't have no more than this right here. So no, it's not even that you got no haters. Nobody's hating on you. There's nobody slandering you. There's nobody discrediting you. There's nobody going outside of that way to try to sabotage you. What's the problem is, is that internal dialogue. Mm -hmm. It's the lies that you tell yourself. Yeah. It's the self-doubt yeah. that gets you in the toehold. It's the things that you say to yourself because of your fear. Your fear will paralyze you right there where you stand. It will take the sweat, the taste out your food, the rest out your bed, the sanity out your mind, and before you know it, here you are stuck in an environment that you're choosing. Because it's two storms that you're going to deal with. The storms that you create and the storms that you allow. That's a fact. You're going to deal with two storms. The ones that you create and the ones that you allow. And the reason why you allow them is because of the misplaced pain. You got to know exactly where to put it. What are you telling me, coach? You got to make up your mind who you're going to be before that pain comes. If you say that I'm going to be motivated, yes. I'm going to operate this way, then when it comes, you got to keep going. Yes. Why? Because the enemy's job is to test what it is that you say. There's life in your words. Yes. Yes. If you say that I'm showing up this type of way, you about to get challenged. Oh, yeah. If you say that I'm about to live this, oh, you won't get challenged. Yes. Because I got to see, do you really mean it? Yes. See, I ain't going to bother you when you ain't got nothing going on because you ain't no threat at that moment. Right. Right. Yeah. When you just getting up and self-sabotaging because you ain't trying to do nothing, I ain't going to bother you. <laughs> But when you start learning who you are, Come on, what now. you are, yeah. and what you carry, yeah. now there's a problem. And it's not just because you are aware of yourself. It's because self-awareness also brings awareness of the relationships and the people that surround you. So you don't just see your stuff. You see that stuff as well because now your eyes are wide open and you're looking at the way that they behave. When you start leveling up, yeah. why? Well, yeah. Why you think that gets so upset with you when you come up out that darkness? Yeah. When you start winning? Yeah. When you start? Yeah, yeah. See, I was good with you until people start knowing your name. <laughs> Wait, you can do good, but not better than me. Yeah. The audacity of you to pick yourself up. How dare you try to act like you ain't never been through nothing? Yeah. Why? I look like I ain't never been through nothing that day. It's not my fault, right? I'm not responsible for how you perceive me. You feel what I'm saying? I only want to be connected, fam, to folk that's going to let me take up space. If I can't take up space, I don't want to be there. Because while I got to water me down to make you comfortable, while I got to dilute, person that I am to make you comfortable. While I can't come in and be my true authentic self and without making you feel a certain type of way. So if I intimidate you, I suggest that you create whatever is inside of you because when I show up, I'm going to show up like I'm supposed to be. Every single time. Every single time. I ain't coming in. I'm not coming in no environment and you got to know me to know. I'm not coming in no environment trying to fit in. Baby, I love standing out. I became a stem just to stand out. Okay. Those that know, they know. It's about to get cold, y'all. Look at me with a face full of makeup. Just hold on. I, I, don't have, I don't have no desire to look like nobody else. To carry on like nobody else. I, I enjoy being me. I take pride in being me. And that's how you have to operate. You have to get to a place where it's, you learn that it's okay for me to have a good life. It's okay for me to have a healthy relationship. It's okay for me to have healthy connections. But a lot of times we don't go for our next because we're obsessed with our right now. We think that this is all that 
we have is called conditioned thinking. We yes. think that we can't go no further than what great granny went. Yes. Yes. Oh Y'all know what happened when these jaws come out. <laughs> I'm going to show you what you look like holding on a small. Mm -hmm. Keep your eyes on this, though, because I'm going to show you what it looked like when you already, because you, you see the promise, but are you willing to take a part in it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because, see, a lot of times what happens is we, we, we know God. We come to church. We do our prayers. We know all of this, and we know what he's capable of, yes. but we won't turn that right there loose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? You won't, yeah, you, won't, you won't let go of that right there. So and, and one of the main reasons why, see, I'm, I, I, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm over here and I'm trying to give you bigger and better. Yes. But you so obsessed with that right there that no matter what I do, I'm trying to give and you still trying to pull away. I'm trying to show you something better and you still trying to pull away because your fear, right? Your fear of failing, your fear of what other people are going to think, how they, come on. I'm trying to give you big, but you addicted to small. I'm trying to get over here to the, and you just, every, no matter. What I do, I didn't send folk to help you, I didn't send folk to bless you, I didn't send folk to open up opportunity, but you I'm trying to give you more, but you keep settling for less. I'm trying to give you the best, and you just trying to say you want mediocre that bad. to be your motivation. Woo! is what got you in alignment. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah. Now your desperation, because I ain't got no other way to go. My back up against the wall. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't got no choice but to believe now. Mm. Ah. Come on. Ah. Life is a classroom. Yeah. Everything that you go through, everything, it's about a lesson. It's something in every situation. Nothing happens by accident. That's right. That's right. God is coming and sending people to bless you, to restore you, yes. to pour into yes. you, to cover you, yes. to protect you, yes. to create yes. different opportunities, to open different doors for you. But you are self-sabotaging because you are addicted to pain. Yes. Oh, well, you know, a piece of a job is better than none. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah. My relationship ain't perfect, but, you know, we be tolerating each other. You don't think you deserve to be happy? Yes. You don't think you deserve to be heard, to be valued, yes. to be loved and respected correctly? Yes. I'm going to say this, and I, I, I hope I offend something that's in you. <laughs> that's a fact. I want you to know that God going to let you live on whatever level that you settle for. that you settle for. Yes. That's it. And I want you to know that if you settle, you will suffer. Mm. Yes. Settling equals suffering. Yes. If you settle in that relationship, you're going to suffer. Yes. Because you're never going to be fulfilled. Yes. Because it ain't what you want. Yes. If you settle in that job, yes. you're going to work every single day unhappy. Mm. Tolerating what you don't want to tolerate. Yes. Why? Because I don't want to do the necessary work to find me what I want. Mm. All right. I don't do what is required to be able to create the lane that I want. Yes. So we settle. We put up with, we tolerate. And as long as you settle for it, you're going to suffer right there in it. And that's self-sabotaging on your behalf. And you can't blame nobody else. Because see, you didn't know before, but you know now. Yeah. Right. So walking away, you know that, you know what, I can't, I can't go big holding on the small. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I, uh, I can't, uh, yeah, she, seen, she showed that to me. I can't, yeah, that's yeah. right. So when that opportunity comes, whether I got it all together or not, whether I got the right blueprint or not, yeah. for the yeah. fact that you came and asked me, can I do this position? Yeah. Guess what? I'm about to jump all the way in, baby. Yeah. They got too many different yeah. avenues where I can get on Google. Yeah. that you 
hardships. Yes. Yes. People that ain't ashamed to tell you about you without, without yes. feeling like they got a tiptoe yes. around your feelings. Yes. That's real friendship. That's real friendship holding you accountable. When they see that you're slacking, when they see that you're not showing up for yourself, when they see that you're not uh, living up to your fullest potential, when you're not doing the things that they know that you are capable of doing to better yourself and they don't say anything, that ain't a friend. Understand, that's a company right there. You just keep yeah. yeah. As long as I'm down and you down with me, we good. Yes. We good. As long as you ain't going no further than right here, we good. You know what I'm saying? Sweet, sweet. We good. <laughs> that ain't a real relationship. That's not a real friendship. Right. Right. Understand that. But I'm about to get up out of here, man. It's your favorite online motivational. <laughs>